Hey everybody, Hi Tech Yo Billy here. So what I'd like to show you in this session is more web ODM, but this time from the 2D mapping. And this is what I'd like to show you. So this here is what Google Earth says our property looks like. And you can see way in here, Yana's old car couple of solar panels anyway it's before we were even able to start doing anything to the property when we first move in here so I've been doing this uh, 3d mapping using the drone and processing using the uh, web ODM and so from a 2d map perspective I want to show you what we've got now this right here it's from a mission that I flew the other day that shows what our property actually looks like. And as you can see, it actually goes pretty close with the things that are outlined on Google Earth. So they line up the trails and whatnot that existed before today line up just right. So if we scroll in, you can see that it's actually the 3D model. So it's not real detailed. You can see kind of how it's fixing itself. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the photos are kind of fixing themselves right now to make it look a little bit better. So you can see now we've got orchards here. Here's an orchard. There's some trees back here. There's a pond that we dug. Here's more solar panels. Here's our big pond. We've got manure piles everywhere. Anyway, so we've got a whole bunch of uh, infrastructure that we've put in over the years. And we're still working on this section here to put another garden in. And sorry for the slow rendering, but there's a lot of processing going on here. You know what's really neat? So I can click that on and off see real fast what it looks like or you can use the slider here the opacity but something else now watch this it's going to turn into infrared boom I don't know enough about this feature yet but it's supposed to look for issues with your vegetation I don't know how to read this yet or what to do with know what to do with it but it looks like an interesting something interesting and worth looking at come on keep rendering there we go here's something else so if I go back to the photo let it render again okay now if I click on the photo I've got some options here I can download the geotag tiff I'll try that let's save that sucker um, surface model geotiff let's do that surface model tiles point cloud let's try that guy why not textured model why not that's a 3d model camera parameters camera shots let's download everything in one giant zip file 1.1 gigabytes wow that's a lot of data alrighty so let's close that now I want to show you something else surface model boom here's the surface model and so you can get more information about the ground it shows our other pond our big pond right here in the thicket I'm not really sure what to do with this one either I'm really not. That's what happens when you don't know a lot about what you're messing with. There's that. This is the pixels that it creates. And then you take the pixels and you it, it textures the pixels to make it look like something other than pixels. 
Let me go here. Let's go back up to point budget. Let's turn that way up. Now it's got a lot more pixels that it's working with. Let it run for a minute. And show model. So here is the updated model after running perpendicular. Check out that. You can actually see the view sort of out there. If I had taken more pictures that direction with the gimbal tilted up, it would give us a view of what's out there, which I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, so here's the property. The cars look better. The shed and stuff looks better. A lot of things look better here. The pond looks a lot better. But some things look worse. Like the barn, I don't know. It doesn't look right. It's got some problems with it. But the chicken coops back here, they look pretty good. I haven't learned how to clean up these models yet. You have to do it in another application. So I'll figure that out later. For now, is this something that y'all think y'all might be able to use on your property? Let me know. I think it's pretty cool still. Slowly getting better. Slowly. So this is what it looks like when we're standing up on the hill. Yeah, that's what it looks like, all right. You can actually get some virtual reality goggles. You can actually get some virtual reality goggles and go inside this world and move around. I don't know how to do that yet, but I've seen some articles on that. I don't know. I'd rather just go outside and walk around, but oh, might be fun for somebody else. I wonder if realtors could use this. I bet they could. I bet this could be a realtor's super tool. Anyway. This is High Tech Hillbilly Out. Let me know what you think again. And uh, if you like this video, please uh, feel free to click that like button and that subscription button to subscribe to my channel. Alrighty. Thank you. High Tech Hillbilly Out.